In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple pressure scheme that you can utilize out of the 4-4 split. Now, I know not, not a lot of people are running 4-4 split, but with some of the improved um, coverages within the zone that you can create with the Mabel coverages and with the new linebackers added in, um, I wanted to share this. This is also really, really good against the run as well. 4-4, four, four, you get all those people in the box, um, can do some really, really good stuff against the run game as well. So if you've never met me before, my name's Cody. I want to welcome you to my channel. Um, this is your first time visiting the channel. Basically what we do here is we do Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day. We, to we post about four of these videos similar to this every day. Either it's a blitz breakdown, a run defense, a coverage scheme, a pass uh, route combination that you can utilize. Um, just different tricks of the trade. Uh, just trying to help you get better as I'm trying to get better myself. I spent a lot of time practicing and learning about this game and so I'm just sharing um, what I'm learning with you guys and I hope it's been helpful. Um, so far we've had a ton of growth this season and it's just been awesome to see as we've been hearing stories of people getting better, getting more wins and uh, one of the things that's been most helpful to people improving has been our text message membership which is completely free to join all you have to do is just shoot me a text message and what our text members get is they get exclusive videos um, we have a, over a 50 minute big nickel over g run defense we have over a 50 showing you how to stop every run in madden 21 we have over a 50 minute breakdown on the big nickel over g pass defensive concepts that you can use and we also have a over a one hour video on the gun bunch. We have a 45 minute mini guide on the Minnesota Vikings playbook, which is starting to pop up a lot in competitive Madden. Um, so we just got a ton of content in there that is kind of exclusive. It's a little bit more high level, a little bit more in depth. And so if you want access to that, just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. All right, let's take a look at this little blitz that I found out of the 4-4 um, split. And we'll talk about it. So it could be out of any play in the 4-4 split. Just make sure that you have your uh, defense set to baseline so that your linebackers are kind of where we want them to be. And literally all you're going to do is you're going to show blitz. You see that it's going to put these linebackers right here off of the gaps just like this. Now if I try to shift my line or do anything, it's not going to allow me to do it. That's the show blitz look out of 4-4. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to crash our line out. We're going to blitz our left of screen outside linebacker. And then we're going to quarterback contain, and we're going to take our deep safety and bring him down right into this little pocket right here, okay? Kind of right in this little area. And we're just going to run him down and then run him out. And as you can see, you're going to get the five-man pressure right off of the right edge or off the left edge. 4-4, four, four, uh, back in Madden 13 was my main defense. It was a defense I felt like that was really, really difficult to um, handle because of the fact that it had such good A-gap pressure. Um, this year, it's primarily for edge pressure. Um, as you can see here, if I don't contain the outside guy, you'll see that he's still going to come in. Okay, so you, if you don't want to contain, you don't have to. You can still you can easily get the pressure um, just blitzing that guy right off the edge. So that's the left side pressure. Right side pressure is pretty much the same. It's just the right side. So what I run down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run down and to the left. That's kind of the key uh, to this. So I'm going to stand right here, run down, run to the left, and as you can see, the right edge pressure is going to scream at the quarterback. So you're going to get right edge pressure sending five, left edge pressure sending five, and then what you're going to be able to do is you're actually going to be able to get uh, double edge pressure sending six, so again, same kind of thing right here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and then come to the right. And there, oops, we only got one. Um, we only got one in. Let me try that one more time. Now, typically where the what you want to do is you want the pressure to come in on the side that the running back is not. That's the idea um, for this. So again, show blitz. You see how they're going to stack right there. So what my lurk is going to do is I'm going to go down, and I want to go down and to the left. So snap the ball, go down, go to the left, and we got picked up. So maybe we have to contain. We'll show you the contain real quick. Typically the five man I don't really, or the six man I don't really run. I mainly just kind of mix in. I play a lot of coverage out of four four. I think the zones that you can create out of this is actually pretty effective um, with the cover two invert. But what you see there, there's the contain, and as you can see, the pressure is going to come in. So you have right edge, left edge, and double edge pressure. Um, but then what you can do with this four four, and what I like about it so much is just the coverage that you can create with this. These linebackers um, will jump. You can create kind of this little invert right here. Um, and you get fairly good pressure uh, from a, from these two guys down because of where they're standing. So if you were to basically do something like this, you can kind of mix this in. 
this is just a max coverage defense. Your main pr- responsibility is the deep post routes, um, and you just let them shed. But uh, as you can see, you know, he got pretty much everything bagged uh, for the most part. So that's the 4-4 split blitzes. Um, again, let me go over one, one more time really quickly. It's very, very simple. Just show blitz. Now, if you wanted to, you could crash your line to the side that you want to come in. So if I wanted to crash my line to the left, you see here, um, it will help the blitz. The blitz will come in. Um, of course, as I say that, it doesn't come in. Um, the blitz will come in still if you crash it to the left. Um, also, if you crash down, um, crashing down, let me just show you. So you can experiment with the different crashings of the defensive line here. Um, but you see crash down kind of leaves him right into him. Uh, one thing that I actually really like is from, from the 4-4 is the play zone blitz because of the sheds. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I just take these guys on the outside and I just blitz them, right? I just, I'm just i just going to blitz them. So I'm going to zone off my line. You see? And I'm just going to blitz these guys. And we're just going to run a basic cover three Mabel concept. Um, and you'll see right here. Just blitzing these outside guys, you'll see they get really nice little pass rush angles, and they're going to get upfield very effectively. Oftentimes, you'll get a quick shed or quick something uh, against them. So that's just something you just to know. So you can use zone blitz for that to kind of complete the scheme a little bit. Now, if you were to sh- um, if you were to blitz all of your linebackers, you could see that they're going to go into these gaps right here. This can create a very nice little eight-man blitzing scheme if you wanted to use something like this. Um, you'll see the pressure is just going to fly in. As you can see, you're going to get you know, you're sending eight and you're getting um, four free, which means, you know, again, that you have the numbers advantage is what it boils down to. So, again, if I were to blitz all these guys right here and then just, just show blitz until they come in, you'll see they'll stack in the A gap right here. And now what we can do um, is we can do, a you know, kind of heavy pressure, heavy rushing on both sides. So if we crash the line down and then basically we're going to zone everybody out on the left side except for that defensive tackle. So you see here, it's really sending five because our user is going to basically drop into coverage. Snap of the ball, we're going to come in. And as you can see here, that's with the blocked running back. But you, you have a shot um, right there at getting somebody free. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's that's pretty much the 4-4. The 4-4 four four. Um, is really good, in my opinion, for goal line. And the reason it's really good for goal line is because the um, the – linemen because of their stance because of where they stand on the line of scrimmage they're going to oftentimes uh get in pretty nicely against like a fullback dive you'll be able to shoot a fullback dive uh with this with this defense so that's why i actually you know this is kind of a red zone defense that i'll kind of shift to um in a situation like i'll go to something like cover to invert you see with cover to invert you have you know all these stock zones so if i were to just blitz you know this outside guy here and again, just keeping things, you know, very, very simple. You know, the pressure doesn't even have to come in. You get good sheds. You have good coverage with this. You know, there's just some things, especially in the red zone. Because of the red zone, gets everything gets kind of compact. And what you'll see here, let me show blitz here, get these guys going. And you'll see here on the right, set the pressure up. And there you see, that's what I'm looking at right there. There's the edge pressure. So, you know, it's pretty simple. Literally, all you do is you show blitz, you crash line to, you crash line out, and then you just blitz the linebacker on the side you want him to come in on, and then take the user and put him on the play side, and you're going to run him to the weak side. So just like that right there, and you see the pressure is going to come in on both sides. So that is the 44 um, little mini scheme for you. Um, I really like this in the red zone. Like I said, I think the cover two invert does a really, really good job in the red zone, especially if you play hard flats out of it. Um, I just find it really being hard to, you know, you play some kind of cover two Mabel, basically it will box a lot of what people do. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Like I said, the tech memberships available. If you haven't picked up our full defensive scheme, um, we obviously have, uh, really, really good blitzes in there. We have one man, or I think we have two man A gap pressures. We have, um, we have uh, user rushes. We have all that good stuff. So if you're looking for some kind of more glitchy stuff, and we have just basic defensive principles that you can apply as well. Um, my defensive ebook is based out of this playbook, and I go through the nickel 335, nickel normal, nickel 335 wide, big nickel over G, 46, 46 bear, um, and the 34. So if you're looking in the 34 bear, so if you're looking for a scheme like that that can send heavy pressure, stop the run, have great coverage, all that stuff. 
that ebook is for you. It's in the description below. It shows you how to do pretty much everything you need to know how to do on the defensive side of the ball uh, this year in Madden 21. So, anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching uh, the video, and we will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel. So uh, if you're subscribed, you'll be able to know when we go live. If you're in the Discord, I normally post when we're live. So if you haven't been able to see a stream or whatever, make sure your notifications are on in the Discord. Um, again, that link is in the description to join that, and we'll see you tonight.